Peace family, Kanja Queen here, and I received a very valuable download today that I want to share with you guys. So one of the things that the Guardian Spirit had told me is that the material world as we know it, as 3D, is only a reflection of your soul. This world is not real. It is an illusion, which means that it is subjective and it only depends on the eye of the beholder. The way that I see the world may be completely different from how you see the world. The reason we have this physical experience is because we use this realm to gauge how our soul is doing. If there is something about this world that brings you dis-ease or a disease, right, then that means that there is a dis-ease in your soul. The key is to objectively observe that disease. See how that resonates or applies internally because everything starts within. Everything that we see outside of us is an effect, but every effect has a cause and that cause has its roots in the soul. So you research how that disease can be remedied or harmonized. This is balance. Whenever there's a disease, that means that there's a tipping of the scale and there's some type of imbalance that's going on. Nothing good, nothing bad, but an imbalance. And we see that reflected in the outside world. Next, we have to work towards resolving that challenge or that imbalance and we record the results. The thing is, don't have any expectations because when you focus on the destination, you lose sight of the journey. The journey is the most important part because that is where you learn the most valuable lessons and receive the most valuable insight. Now, one of the, one of the activities that the guardian spirit told me to do and I'm sharing this with you guys is to create on a piece of paper write down get two get three different columns and you're going to label it challenge solution outcome in the challenge section you're going to write whatever challenge that it is that you're trying to overcome and try to keep it simple try not to overwhelm yourself with too many things to to tackle at once right so for instance it could be a challenge might be that you've been trying to overcome an addiction. Maybe you want to stop drinking. Maybe this challenge is you want to quit smoking. You want to stop eating unhealthy. You want to get stronger. Wh whatever it may be, like it is that challenge. Okay? You want to you want to get more friends or you you know you you want to find that mate. You want to find your twin flame or you want to be happy. Whatever it may be, you have to write that in your challenge section. Now, first we have to identify what the challenge is or the dis-ease is. That's the first step, right? Understanding what the problem or the challenge is. Once we identify that, we write it down. Then we look at the solution in the next column. The solution could be, okay, what steps do we have to take in order to resolve that challenge, to overcome that challenge, to dominate and submit that challenge to our will? So that could be anything. It really depends on the research that you do, thorough research. So if you say, you know, I want to quit smoking, first we got to identify, well, what is the cause of me smoking? Why do I smoke? Is it because it's, it, when I'm stressed, I smoke? You know, what started my smoking habit? I got to go deeper into it. That's why you have to do research into the challenge itself. Once you understand why you do what you do, then you can start moving towards the next section, which is, which is the solution. So then you start to solve it, like, okay, you know what, I can join a group with other people who is also trying to quit smoking, or I can find a healthy substitute. So instead of picking up, um, let's say, a cigarette or whatever it is that you smoke, you know, finding practical solutions to help you overcome that. Now, in the outcome section, you're not going to put anything ahead of time, because like the Spirit said, you don't want to go into this journey with an expectation. Whenever we have a certain expectation, not only do we sometimes disappoint ourselves, but we lose sight of the journey, right? For instance, 
how many times have you probably told yourself, you know what, I want to lose 10 pounds in a week, or I want to lose 20 pounds in X amount of days. And let's say that deadline comes and you don't meet that mark. Well, now you're disappointed, but you lost sight of all of the valuable things that did transpire during that journey there. You lost sight of the fact that you cultivated your will. You strengthened your muscle, not only your body, but your mind. You probably met some great people at the gym, right? You overcome a lot of things that you didn't know that your body could do. But you lost sight of that because you was too focused on the outcome. So that is what that means when you focus too much on the outcome and you lose sight of the journey. So the thing is that the guardian spirit wants to say is go into life with a sense of wonder. Always keep your options open. Always be open and welcoming to whatever outcome may come. Because you never know what the journey entails. It is the journey where you meet great people. It's the journey where you actually learn valuable lessons. It is the journey that is the most important part of all of it. Because at the end of the day, when you're on your deathbed and you're about to transition to the next realm, you're going to be reflecting on the journey of life, not the destination, but rather the journey, because that is where all the jewels are. So I think that this is a really practical exercise that can assist and help anybody who's trying to overcome any type of challenge that it may be, whatever it may be. Put it down, write it down on paper, see it, and then work towards solution. Work towards resolving that issue. Work towards the solution of that problem. And this can be done with anything. And put this somewhere where you can see this every day, whether it's on your refrigerator, in your bathroom, on the mirror, wherever it may be. So that way you're constantly reminded of what you're doing because we live in a world of distractions. So I hope that this message has touched you in some way. I hope that this has helped someone. So... Drop your comments down in the comment section. Let us know if this was helpful for you. If you have any questions, also don't forget to thumbs up, share this with a friend, and subscribe. Until next time, Conjure Queen signing out. Peace.